Hey Capricorn, welcome into my channel, Alana with Ascension Tarot. I am going to be reading for you guys today. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm going to be looking at you and your person, the person currently on your mind. I'm going to be looking at the energies between you guys and what's currently going on. This could be somebody new or somebody you guys are already in a relationship with. Um, this could be even a friend. So just think of the person that's on your mind, Capricorn, and um, we're going to look at the energies between you guys. Um, I am new to the channel, you guys, so if this message resonates, I would love a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much. If this message doesn't resonate, please check your other placements. You can find messages there if you know your sun, I'm sorry, if you know your moon, or your rising, even your Venus. <clears throat> Check those placements. All right, you guys, let's get let's get this person, the person that's on your mind, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, person that's on your mind. How do they view you? Okay. They view you as being open. They see you. They feel that you are Capricorn. Um maybe looking at a like a new way of doing things okay they view you as being very open very open and um wanting to go possibly in a new direction um okay you're either open to this relationship open to coming together um they feel that you are um, definitely relationship material capricorn this person um this person wants to start something new with you um Okay, this person I feel like really wants to have a conversation with you, okay? They've got something to say, but they're using their intellect over their emotions right now, okay? They, um, yeah, they're using their intellect over their emotions. This person could be just very, uh, very intellectual, okay? Very logical. They want to get right to the point, Capricorn. They don't want to beat around the bush, they want to get uh, right to the point and just cut out all the BS. Okay, let's see how you're viewing them or how you feel about them. Okay, so you, Capricorn, you feel like um, there's been some conflict here. Okay, maybe there was, um, this person may have a way about them that you feel like there's a competitive energy here or just a very ambitious. You feel like this person's very ambitious and can be a little bit hurtful at times, okay? Can maybe say some things that are very, very hurtful and can even step on possibly the energy of like um, not, not caring who they hurt, okay? To make their point. Like this person can, can, can be a little harsh, okay? Is how you feel. Um, interesting. The energy between you guys, Capricorn... Uh, the magician so wanting to create okay definitely powerful energy here this is um, Gemini energy um, wanting to create uh, something new and using the power um, it's like you guys both have the tools here individually to create anything that you guys want to create here with the magician energy it's tapping into your inner power so um, tapping into your inner power to create the environment that you guys want to create okay the challenge here is the empress so growth okay growth uh, you guys might need to be more nurturing with each other um and be more comfortable here um this is a very nurturing energy a very mother motherly energy even if you know capricorn even if you might be the the feminine here or this person might be the feminine but either way sex doesn't matter um, this is just a nurturing energy and with this being in the challenge that tells me that um, there's maybe not enough nurturing here someone doesn't feel comfortable or this could be a feeling of insecurity um, all right let's clarify let's clarify six of well let me look at the bottom okay so mm, you might be wanting to move on here Capricorn you may be wanting to move on from some type of um, 
some type of break here. Tower to the Six of Pentacles. Uh, to justice. It's like it's like a feeling of needing to make things right or needing to be honest. Okay? Really needing to be honest with each other here. Um, it's like a fair and balanced energy here. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. I want to clarify the fool for your feelings towards them. Okay. You're either wanting to move in a new direction with this person or go in a completely new direction on your own. But we're going to see. Okay. Show me why does Capricorn feel um, feelings towards this person as the fool? Thank you. Capricorn's feelings. Feelings towards this person as the fool. Capricorn's feelings as this person. As the fool. Thank you. All right. Let's take a look. Ooh, the lovers. Okay. Wow. So you feel like, um, you feel like, yeah, like you, uh, you could be a fool for this person. You know, you could feel head over heels for this person, but there's been pain. Okay. There's been pain here, pain of the past. And there could be some, um, tough decisions here that need to be made. Okay. Capricorn. But the sun is here. There's a big supportive energy of the sun. So moving in a new direction and getting this fresh new energy that's coming in um, feels good, okay? Leaving the past behind and choosing to go in a new direction feels good. It feels warm. Wow, with the star. So you've got the sun and the star. This is um, hopes, dreams, and desires to feel good again, okay? Maybe you view this person as, um, as going in this new direction and... Um, following their dreams, following their, de their desires after, um, you know, this heartbreak, this pain, and this loss of the past. Like, you feel like this person is, um, you know, just needing and wanting to um, follow their dreams here, Capricorn. Yeah, some type of new truth is coming in. Okay. All right, let's look. Why do you feel... Um, you view this person, okay? Yeah, you view this person as somebody that either you're already in a relationship with or you had some type of relationship with. Okay, why the four of wands? The empress. So again, this is the challenge here. You guys pulled the empress as your challenge. So let's see, view them. Okay. There's growth here. I mean, there's still a lot of happiness, Capricorn. This is actually beautiful energy. You view them as somebody who is um, who you you want to grow with. There's emotional harmony. There's a lot of celebration here. Um, there's growth. There's um, a very comfortable, nurturing energy here. Yes, there was some pain in the past and some loss, maybe even some betrayal in the past here. But there's a new, beautiful energy um, coming in. Um, uh, that this person brings you Capricorn um, that that is growing here there's a celebratory energy like a, a beautiful energy here coming in wow and the four of wands again so this is looking actually quite beautiful so far it's looking like whatever pain of the past that came in here um, maybe somebody had made a, a choice that seemed a little premature or a little naive okay there could have been some naive um naive choices here um that was just you, you, like you're healing okay but that energy is being healed things are looking and feeling a lot better um and you see you see this person healing and it's bringing a healing energy to the both of you guys um interesting interesting okay let's see um your actions towards them um, are the uh, the Queen of Swords. So um, while there's a lot of emotional fulfillment here, Capricorn, growth, there's a feeling of being very comfortable, okay? Being very comfortable, wanting to bring a little bit more of a lighthearted energy um, 
into the relationship, um, wanting to bring more harmony, um, lighthearted energy and, uh, and stability into the relationship. Uh, you're also, for some reason, when you deal with them or when you go towards them, you're wanting to, um, you need like a, a clarity of mind here. You need to be very logical. Okay, let's see. Why the Queen of Swords for Capricorn's behavior toward them? Okay. Oh, yeah, there is a, like a spiritual energy here. You're also using your intuition to guide you. All right. There was, um, there was some emotional distance. Okay. Wanting to feel very secure. Um, you may have emotionally distanced yourself. Okay. But there's some type of renewal energy coming in here. Um, you, it's like you don't want to be overly optimistic when you come towards this person. It's like needing to feel, um, needing to feel grounded, Capricorn, um, but still being generous, still being generous in your actions towards this person. But there's there's an emotional distance here. There's still some pain that you're working through, Capricorn. Yeah. But it looks like when you interact with this person, even though there may be some dis there's distance emotionally for some reason, um, but you're working towards starting something new and you feel this intuitively. Also, you have a big heart space here. There's still a lot of love, there's stability, and there's um, a feeling of wanting to be a provider here. Um, wanting to be, they're very protective energy here very emotionally um, mature and secure. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clarify this Eight of Cups for you guys. So, and, and see what that, um, I'm sorry, my cards got all twisted up here. Um, wanting to see what that, what that emotional distance is about, okay? Hold on, let me get my cards in order, Cappy. I gotta get these cards in order. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, I wanna clarify, why does this person's feelings towards you, the Five of Swords? Interesting, this is, um, this is about competition, conflict, uh, you know, verbal, verbal arguments, okay? And also negative thoughts. Okay, they may they may feel that you have um, a lot of negative thoughts. Okay, let me see. Five of Swords. Why the Five of Swords in how you view this person? Okay. I think that you view them as possibly avoiding, possibly avoiding taking action. I'm sorry, taking um, accountability for their actions, Capricorn. Okay. You feel like there's something that happened here. Whatever this um, this heartbreak was about, um, you feel like this person maybe doesn't want to talk about it. They avoid taking um, accountability for some type of action here. They're avoiding it. You may feel like they're avoiding um, like an argument, okay? There was some type of dishonesty here in the past, but um, there's like a balanced um, approach coming in here. Okay, well, I mean, this is looking better. It looks like once you guys um, attempt to move towards expressing your emotions, it does bring in more of a sense of a balance, okay? You feel, Capricorn, that if you guys are to express your emotions and be vulnerable, it would really um, serve to uh, balance out the scales, which is, I think, what you want. I think you want this person to, you know, because their actions towards you are being, um, like leaving their emotions out of it, being a little bit um, emotionally detached, okay? Even though they are, they do say that they have a big heart space for you. They hold a lot of love for you, but this person is, they're almost like, needing more fulfillment okay like they're saying that um when they come towards you their behaviors towards you are that they're still looking for something more okay they're still they're still on this journey capricorn 
to find um, find themselves a little bit. They're still searching for their purpose, okay? But there's a... Um, there's a lot of love and there's a lot of stability here. This person might be the financial provider, okay, or just provide a lot for the family. And um, yeah, but there's, there's, they're still searching. They're searching for some type of inspiration and intuition. Um, yeah, searching for clarity, this person is. Yes, and, um, you know, you're viewing them as... Um, Trying to be more balanced, okay? Trying to be more balanced emotionally. And, um, yeah, you know, not sneaking away, not sneaking, like not avoiding conflict, but um, instead needing to be uh, accountable or needing to be like balanced here. There's some type of wanting to avoid conflict, okay? Or not being honest, not being honest with um with like actions here actions that have already occurred that have led to some type of uh some type of pain and some type of heartbreak okay between the two of you guys interesting why is the uh why is the challenge uh the the empress is what i is what i want to look at a challenge here between you guys growth stability be feeling comfortable also a sense of um, self-worth okay someone may be struggling with um, really just understanding and knowing themselves better Capricorn why is the challenge the Empress for Capricorn page of swords yeah so it is it's like a lack of understanding of oneself but trying to um, to gain more knowledge, right? To gain more knowledge about one's emotions. That's what I really feel here, is that uh, both of you guys are, are getting gaining a more clear perspective on your emotions, okay, and growing. It's like what may have felt like in the past um, was a lack of, of self-awareness, okay? is growing okay and and it's coming in in an emotional um in an emotional way yeah making better decisions here and moving on from the past moving on from past disappointment um a lack of of emotional fulfillment fulfillment here capricorn moving on from that and moving into um you know a more clear future here with the two of wands um, making active decisions here from a better um, a better headspace having more knowledge here it's like um, a feel a feeling of learning and growing between the two of you guys so that's actually quite beautiful with the page of swords it's a curious energy you know it's like you're in a period um, where it could have been challenging to understand yourselves both of you more Capricorn but you're you're getting more insight into yourself and you're growing more Capricorn um, in your self-worth becoming more comfortable with yourself okay and um, this this is also a very sort of young it's like you're just starting out on this journey this is a new um, like some new excitement that's building here okay I think that you guys are really trying to fill up your cups uh, emotionally speaking and just gain, like I said, gaining more clarity and insight, which is a beautiful energy to get to. Um, I want to look at the magician. So yeah, using your power here. Um, this is the overall energy. It's like, so the overall energy then I would say with the magician being here would be um, understanding your power, understanding your self-worth. And realizing that um, you guys can actually manifest uh, anything that you guys want, and and really understanding that, like you guys are the you know you guys are the creator of your own destiny. Let's see um, the overview for Capricorn and this person. Why is that the magician? Why is the magician here? You know what? I want to use a different deck. I want to clarify that with a different deck. 
thank you. I'm gonna look at the magician for my Capricorn. Show me the magician for Capricorn. And this deck has already been pre-shuffled, you guys. Yeah, the fool. Okay, yeah. So you guys are creating new opportunities, okay? The magician with the fool. You guys are creating and using your power to um, be more open, okay? Yeah, taking taking action here, using your power and um, understanding what it is that you create and understanding that to be truly free, you've got to take action in your own life um, to allow yourself to be free and, and take action, do something to, um, you know, use your power to create and have the right intentions to set yourself free, allowing yourselves to go on a new journey. And, and there's excitement here. You guys, you know, there's an excited feeling here. But also there's caution, you know, at the same time, the Knight of Swords understands that he can move in this new direction and it is exciting, but you've got to understand that with all of this power comes the responsibility to, um, to be careful in this new journey with this newfound knowledge of, um, yeah, Queen of Pentacles, um, moving towards this new opportunity with a, a very grounded and nurturing energy which is what we saw in the challenge you know the empress is maybe that was the challenge in the past is understanding um this she's the empress is very grounded you know she's the most grounded she understands her worth and she understands what she wants she knows what she wants and she knows how to manifest it she doesn't chase it she just sits and allows what she wants and desires to come to her. Um, and this is um, the energy between you guys. Okay, so and the, this is the same thing. So I think that this is a really a leveling up Capricorn of, of understanding that you can create whatever it is that you guys want. and But don't rush it, right? Don't rush in and rush after it and um, ignore any red flags, Capricorn. Um, just be grounded. Um, be practical. Use your practical side. You are Earth, okay? So you're very practical. Um, but there's just a feeling of not wanting to rush in and be naive and not see, you know, potential red flags here. Um, but just allowing allowing things to come to you. Um yeah, very grounded, practical energy about taking new steps and creating the vision that you guys want. You know, bringing in bringing in the vision that you guys want. This is a this is a very um, powerful energy here, and these are two people, so um, very fiery. Okay, very fiery and passionate, but also grounded. So this new um, this new opportunity, this new journey that. Um, this relationship looks like it's going on is 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 filled with excitement but it's also filled with needing to be more nurturing to oneself this is caring for oneself and getting your passion back um, after it looks like a period of some um, maybe even some boredom or maybe even just some you know feeling like a, a little bit stuck in the past here uh, ruminating over past disappointments, past heartbreak, um, missing the way that things were possibly Capricorn, um, and moving out of that then to the Ace of Cups, okay? So it's like a renewal. You know, you've got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Fool. It's like you, you are going to get back a sense of like renewal, um, a spiritual renewal, an emotional renewal and feeling more like um like passionate for life again there is an exciting energy coming in here which is beautiful a lot of healing energy capricorn you got the sun and the star which is um you know i love this i love this this is uh you know and, and you're saying that this person is um you know there's a deep attraction here Capricorn you feel very connected to this person um, and this person looks like they needed to connect with a part of themselves first before they can really um, see themselves the way that you see them 
wow, that's a big message. That's a deep message. Um, this person's on a journey of, of um, recognizing in themselves all the beauty that you see in them, Capricorn. Wow, that's a, that's a deep message. And you're saying that you are here for this person, you know, sort of almost waiting for this person to um, come into balance with themselves. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, to balance out their emotions, you know, to balance out their emotions, King, uh, Knight of Cups and um, Six of Pentacles. You know, this person... And this person sees that you're trying Capricorn. They, they, they know that you're, you're not uh, just, they see this, they see this, but there's something in this person's um, energy that, um, and please, you guys flip the, flip the roles here. If, if this is not you, you guys flip the roles, but this is what I'm seeing here between, and there's, there is beautiful energy between the two of you guys. It looks like the, a new cycle is coming in. Okay. Or, or Capricorn, your you could be manifesting. Um, there's definitely a new start here. Okay, there's definitely a new start. But I do see it um, between two people. Okay, there's some big choices that need to be made. But I see I see a lot of growth, a lot of potential, and a lot of cel celebratory energy. There's a lot of happiness. Okay, coming in here. Wow, that's beautiful. Let me get, and I've got the sun again at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, the sun's the happiest card in the deck. So there's there's warmth in your environment, okay? You could feel, um, this person could be feeling, this person could feel really just happy in your, in your presence, Capricorn. You, it looks like you bring this person, um, you bring this person joy, okay? This person, um, this person has a lot of love for you, but you could be, um, for some reason, um, feeling like you need to emotionally detach from them or just, uh, keep your emotions kind of, um, at bay right now. Yeah. Interesting. Let me see the outcome for Capricorn and this person outcome. The lovers wow again a really big choice okay a huge choice this is gemini energy you could be dealing with a gemini um but if not a choice okay if this isn't a choice this is um just two people who this is a soulmate energy okay this is soulmate this is um a strong attraction a strong bond between two people um and and this is getting your passion back okay getting your energy back um and making okay so you, you're making a decision i feel like capricorn to um to get out of a yeah to get out of a state of indecision and um hmm, to get out of a state of indecision you're making decisions here that um make you feel happy okay you um it looks like you have a lot going on the two of pentacles to the eight of wands there's going to be some um some big movement here some fast moving energy there's a lot of passion here um but it, you're saying you're the one that's in control here of the of the movement interesting but why the four of cups okay there's still emotional someone is still um goes back to the past a lot someone goes back to the past a lot the past disappointments it's like being back and forth someone's back and forth but the emperor comes in here and says you know no we're not actually not going to do that we're not going to go back to the past we're going to move forward in this connection okay we're going to move forward and make make better choices um and, you know, this is a very passionate, a lot of passion here. A lot of passion. I'm also being guided to say, you know, don't make decisions based on passion, okay? Don't make decisions solely based on passion. Um, make decisions that, uh, 
Make decisions when you're ready to make them and not in a place of passion. Make decisions based on stability and practicality. And with the emperor to the lovers, um, that is actually a lot of stability that's coming in for you guys. All right, show me the emperor. I just want to uh, take one more card. Show me the emperor for Capricorn. I want to see the emperor. Yeah, justice. You want to be fair and balanced, okay? You want to balance out this um, feeling of emotional, um, you know, unsatisfaction or just a ruminating about the past. You want to move out of that energy and make decisions that are fair and honest and practical. And the emperor is here supporting you, saying that you will. You will make um, these decisions. And um, I see you guys moving out of this energy, Capricorn. Yeah, and really getting to a place that's um, a lot more balanced. Using your, again, using your logic, okay? Having a clear mind and having a better perspective of what it is yeah and growth again the empress keeps coming up here so somebody here could be um i mean this could be a mother somebody here could you guys could have children or this is just um a beautiful energy of somebody understanding and having a better perspective on their self-worth okay yeah and uh, making a decision getting out of a decision here whether to um to give to something or to oop, or to or to just completely end it okay but i don't see i don't see this ending i just see somebody there was pain here there's anxiety and um you know i think somebody holds on to that somebody here has a tendency to go back to the past capricorn and instead of doing this, this person needs to realize that you've got to be in the present, okay? This, you've got to be in the present and feel comfortable with where you're at, Empress, because there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of healing and there's a lot of happiness in the environment, but somebody chooses to focus on um, what went wrong and go back to the past instead of seeing um, the beauty that's actually around you. So yeah it's like um what i really feel like saying is you need to prioritize your happiness here capricorn and you can only do so much to help this person or they they feel like um they feel like Maybe they're helping you. you. You guys are both trying to help each other stay more present instead of going back to past disappointments here. Somebody is taking accountability for their actions here and it is helping. But there's, um, there's an emphasis here on um, like wishing things were different, okay? But, but spirits coming in to say, you know, look at, look at all this. There's a lot of beautiful, like beautiful things that are around you guys. And... Um, I do see excitement coming in here. There's a new beginning here happening for you guys. And it actually is quite beautiful, okay? It's quite beautiful. But there's a need to let go of the past. Okay, Capricorn? So I hope this helped you guys. And I'm going to check in with you guys um, next week and see, um, see what's going on. Also, we just went through, um, or maybe we're, we are still going through it, uh, the first full moon of the year, uh, full moon in Leo. So um, it's a lot of intense energy that all the signs are going through. And it's kind of like um, like things, you know, uh, coming to fruition and also things coming to, there's a lot of completions here. So a lot of the collectives are just wrapping up um, a lot of past energies and moving into new phases and I'm definitely seeing that here with um, with this reading. So a lot of happiness coming in here. There is a lot of um, reason to celebrate. Um, and then, you know, just obviously um, a lot of self-growth here. Focus on self-growth, new paths, and um, excitement coming in for you guys, Capricorn. So, all right, you guys, I hope this helped. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I love you guys. Thank you, and have a great week. Bye.